Okay, a couple of quick tips with Schoology courses to try and make your life a little easier. Um, high school teachers, yesterday we were seeing what we thought were duplicate courses. So if we look at this example, we have egg 1, section 7, and then we saw one that was 1007. What that means is when Schoology has added a 1000, that's considered a second semester course. So that'll be a totally separate course because that's how PowerSchool and Gradebook work. So there's really no way getting around that. We're not going to delete those. You're just going to know that the Section 7 is first semester. 1007 will be second semester. Um, next thing, I know some of you asked if you could edit the name of your courses to make a little more sense out of this. There is a way to do it. Once you open courses, you're going to click See All. It will bring up a list of all your courses by alphabetical order. If you want to rename one, you're going to click on the wheel and you're going to hit edit. It will let you change the course name up here at the top. Make sure you hit save when you are done so it saves your changes. Next, once you've renamed your courses, some of you asked if there is a way to reorder them so you can put them in order of your day, period 1 through period 7. That is possible. You're going to click the up and down arrow here and you can grab these courses on the left and drag them around so you can put them in order after you have named them. Again, make sure you hit Save Changes. If you're unsure uh, how your courses were named, it would be a good idea to open the course up and compare it to your PowerSchool and make sure that the students showing up in PowerSchool for that period are the same ones showing up in your course in Schoology.